A couple months ago, I started posting these YouTube shorts where I talked about Thomas and Friends merch that appeared in other shows. I mainly focused on what brand each item was, if it was part of a specific set, and other interesting stuff like that. People seemed to really like these shorts as they kept getting pretty good views, and I really liked making them. But only having 60 seconds to share what I found really limited what I could say. So rather than doing more shorts, I opted to put all the Thomas cameras I found into one long video. There are well over 100 cameos spread over 50 plus shows and movies, which can easily cover about 30 minutes. So yeah, there's a lot to go through. Before we get started though, let's lay some ground rules. What exactly do I consider a Thomas cameo? Basically, any official piece of Thomas & Friends merchandise that appears in a film or TV show. So no custom made items or bootlegs, we're sticking to official brands like Tomy, Ertl, and Bachman. I'll also be excluding animated interpretations and media that merely mentions Thomas. We're gonna lose this race to Thomas the Tank Engine? I don't think so. I need to be able to point to an object on the screen and identify where it came from. And unless paired with another piece of merch, I'll be skipping shows that only show clips from the series. I think that about covers all my bases. So, going in reverse chronological order, let's run through this extensive list of Thomas cameos. <laughs> The most recent Thomas cameo comes from last week tonight with John Oliver. At the end of his segment on freight trains, John airs a Thomas and Friends parody titled The Sad Tale of Henry the Engine. In this, we can spot Lionel's O-Scale Annie and Clarabelle in the opening shot, as well as the Thomas Henry during the scene that inexplicably switches from O to N scale. Because the model is so small and it only appears for this one scene, they didn't make any custom face masks for it, and opted to track a face on in post. The main Henry prop used is completely custom. The prop is built to O-Scale, and while Lionel does make a range of O-Scale Thomas models, Henry is not among them. They likely borrowed a chassis from another O-Scale loco and built a body and tender from scratch. Interestingly enough, there is a discrepancy between the O and N-Scale models. The O-Scale depicts Henry in his old shape while the N-Scale has him in his new shape. The segment also uses footage from the sad story of Henry, Cole, Thomas's train, and Thomas and the Guard. During the birthday party scene, you can see a CGI and an All Engines Go Percy toy on the cake. This is specifically the 2020 motorized Percy with the orange mail van and the 2021 motorized party train Percy with the confetti paint job, the drum car, and the mail coach. This is purely just speculation, but the fact that the CGI Percy has his face removed and the All Engines Go Percy's face is obscured leads me to believe that they didn't get permission from Mattel to use the toys. The character Lemon makes numerous references to Thomas and Friends throughout the film. At one point, he pulls out a sticker sheet featuring various Thomas characters. This may come as a surprise, but this is not an official Thomas product and was a prop created for the movie. Despite being a prop, the stickers are sourced from a variety of Thomas media. Ducks is taken from the episode James Goes Buzz Buzz, Henry's is from a promotional image for Henry's Forest, Diesel's is from a Pop Goes the Diesel promo image, Gordon's is from James and the Queen of Sodor, Emily's is from Toby Feels Left Out, Edward's is a railway series illustration from the story Edward and the Cabbages, this is the original TV series logo from 1984, and the remaining stickers of Percy, James, Mavis, and Oliver come from an actual Hallmark sticker sheet made in 1995. So this show only has a few episodes up on streaming, and even then they're region locked, so I don't have the footage for this episode, but I do have some screenshots. At some point, a vintage Thomas pedal car from circa 2008 is put up for auction and sold for 120 pounds. There's shockingly very little info about this product. The most I could find is that its recommended retail price was 399 pounds. In the live action portion of the episode, you can spot this wooden railway play table in the hospital, which is exclusive to the wooden railway play table package. On the table, you can see the engine wash, the rescue hospital, the Natford covered bridge, the lifting bridge, the stop and go station, and the barrel loader. A variety of wooden railway toys can be spotted in this installment of lots and lots of trains. There is the wooden railway Thomas appearing as the standard, battery operated, and winter wonderland versions, Edward, Henry, 
Gordon, standard and battery operated. James, standard and battery operated. Percy, standard and battery. Toby, standard and battery. Duck, Oliver, Donald, Douglas, Stepney, Dustin, Daisy, Boko, D199, Diesel, standard and battery operated. Birdie, Terrence, Harold, and Bullstrode. As for rolling stock, there's Annie and Claire both, both the 1993 gray roof and 1994 white roof versions. There's Henrietta, the narrow gauge coaches, out of Jane and Mabel, the Red Express coaches, the Brio Red Express coaches, the Knapford Express coaches, the Mail Coach, the Fuel Milk and Tar Tankers, a Troublesome Truck, a Troublesome Brake Van, the Giggling Troublesome Trucks, Fred Pele, Scruffy, the Soto Scrap Cars, the China Clay Cars, the Log Cars, the Baggage Cars, the Barrel Cars, the Chinese Dragon, the Breakdown Train, the Northwestern Brake Van, the Stoder Line Caboose, and Toad. There's also the Wellsworth Crossing, Knapford Station, the Transforming Bridge, a Windmill, the Knapford Covered Bridge, Ellsbridge Station, Tidmouth Station, the Single Stone Tunnel, the Snow Tunnel, the Arsdale Barrel Company, the Sodor Wood Company, the Roundhouse, the Sodor Bay Cargo Ship and Tugboat, a wooden fat controller, and an Ertl Porter figure. Also, one of the daylight locomotives is seen pulling Mike's tender. You can see the Toms and Friends engine ride-on toy appear during this montage. In the library sketch, Toby's wooden railway windmill appears on this bookshelf. During their parody of The Girl on the Train, Lionel's G-Skill Thomas appears as the titular train, along with Annie and Clarabelle painted in a silver and blue livery. We also hear a bit of a whistle belonging to the character Mighty in Season 11. Don't mind me. <laughs> we can pull a heavy train, wished Mighty. A talking Thomas plush can be spotted when Peter is being chased by Mr. McGregor in the toy shop. When the duo visits the toy museum, you can briefly see some wooden railway toys in the gift shop. There's Thomas, Percy, The Adventure Begins Black James, Gordon, The Musical Caboose, The Aquarium Cars, The Deluxe Roundhouse, and The Oval Starter Set. A take-along travel tote can be spotted in the background of this scene in the episode titled The Phantom of Ashton Ridge. During their prank on Australian Immigration Minister Peter Dunton, Four wooden railway toys of Skiff the Railboat are seen being placed around his election event. To celebrate the series' 70th anniversary, BBC South aired a report discussing the impact of Thomas and Friends. This report features a variety of footage from the episodes Thomas's Train and Thomas's Christmas Party. There was even some, at the time, never before seen behind the scenes footage from Paint Pots and Queens. In the classroom, the children can be seen reading a variety of Thomas storytime books, including The Giant Magnet, Buzzy Bees, The Sounds of Sodor, Bubble Trouble, and Happy Hero. Lastly, the host can be seen playing with the Fisher-Price Easy Go RC Thomas on the couch. In this video, Nicaea can be seen riding on a Fisher-Price Thomas-themed tough trike. In the final act of the film, Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket are seen fighting on a model train layout, on which you can spot Bachman's H.O. Thomas, along with Annie, Clarabelle, two of Emily's coaches, and a Denver and Rio Grande bobber caboose. While the model is present in the wide shots, many of the close-ups use a digital double, as revealed by this VFX reel. This CGI model seems to take cues from Bachman's large-scale Thomas, with it having a front coupler and square side rods, but still having the H.O. Thomas's face. This actually creates a discrepancy as any scene with the physical Thomas won't have the front coupler. In addition to that, when Thomas is enlarged and bursts through the wall, his eyes are seen still moving. In both the HO and large scale models, the eye mechanisms are connected to the motor and only move when they receive power from the tracks. In the episode Donna and Joe, you can spot the wooden railway cranky, water tower, and engine wash sets along with the Brio Rusty and a take along portable roundhouse. In Toy Traders, you can find the Wooden Railway Victor, Winston, Ari and Bert, both the 2011 and 2013 versions, Scarlowey, Stadford, the Santa's Little Engine Pack, the Sydney Holiday Special Pack, Bertram, Dart, Thomas, Fergus, Diesel 10, Peter Sam, Bash, Norman, the Giggling Troublesome Trucks, Duncan, Scruff, Den and Dart, Paxton, Rusty, Sydney, what I believe is the Stephen Comes to Sodor Pack, the Stephen in the Castle Coach Pack, a Wooden Railway Millie, the Toby's Castle Delivery Pack, Nelson, Charlie, and Duke. 
And on the play table, you can spot a water tower, the Sodor Bay Bridges, as well as Thomas, Percy, and Molly without her tender. During this set of clips, this boy can be seen playing with a Trackmaster Bash toy. When meeting young Eggsy at the beginning of the film, you can make out an Erdo Bulgy on this table. The Tall Tree Garden Railway has a variety of Thomas models on its layout. We can see the Bachman Large Scale James pulling the oil, fuel, and milk tankers, as well as the Large Scale Thomas pulling Lionel's Large Scale Annie and Clarabelle. You can also see Bachman's Percy and Emily in the repair shop, along with Lionel's troublesome trucks. There's even a fat controller figure on the layout. Earlier in the video during one of the songs, you can also spot two of Lionel's O-Scale Thomas models. In the end credits during the dedication to the Hamster Dylan, a Tommy Thomas, Annie, Clarabelle, Bullstrode, and Farquhar Station appear. Robot Chicken actually parodied Thomas and Friends once before their Girl in the Train sketch, with the sketch titled Blow Some Steam. This sketch prominently features Bachman's HO models, including Thomas, Percy, and James, who appears to be missing his tender. There's also an appearance from the Bachman Herald, specifically the 2002 variant. The later updated Herald has slightly different paint details that don't match what's seen on screen. Rosie is the only character not portrayed by a Bachman model, but rather her Trackmaster toy. A Bachman Rosie does exist, but it wouldn't come out until five years after this sketch. We do see the Bachman, Annie, and Clarabelle in this final shot, but more interesting are the two green Trackmaster trucks behind them. These likely came from the same pack as Rosie and were used to decorate the set. The last thing I'll point out is that during this close-up shot, the Bachman Percy is being used in place of Thomas. That is very clearly Percy's model colored blue. You can spot the Wooden Railway Quarry Mine Tunnel and Salty during the live action segment of Episode 2 and Thomas-themed Orogel Toothpaste in Episode 3. A Percy Pullback Racer toy can be spotted on the shelf in Fred's bedroom in the 9th, 10th, 14th, 15th, and 20th episodes. In the show's 22nd season, a boy is seen holding a Wooden Railway Early Engineer Percy in Episode 9, and another boy is seen wearing a Percy shirt in Episode 13. In the episode closing time, the Tommy Bath Island playset, the Thomas Rock and Roll Guitar, the Loop the Loop Thomas, the Load and Go Thomas, and the Whistle and Go Thomas are visible on the shelves when the doctor is working in the shop. When Gargamel is chasing the Smurfs in the toy store, you can spot a rack of wooden railway toys. I can make out the wooden railway Harold, Spencer, Stanley, Thomas, Emily, Toby, Percy, Rosie, Flora, and Molly. There is also a take along Max and Monty, and what I believe is the wooden railway 2-in-1 board and play table. In the toy shop, you can make out some wooden railway toys. I can identify Gordon, Henry, Byron, the Giggling Troublesome Trucks, Billy, Duncan, James, Hero, Madge, Isabella, and Molly. Comedian Frankie Boyle spoofed Thomas and Friends in an episode of his show using a variety of different models. The characters of Ernie and Pablo were made using Bachman's H.O. Thomas models, with Mary and this unnamed engine using Hornby's Double O Percy, these two using Bachman's H.O. James, and these engines using Hornby's Smokey Joe locomotive. Any close-up shots used Bachman's large-scale models, like this one of the large-scale Thomas, this one of the large-scale Percy, and this one of the large-scale Annie and Clarabelle being used in place of their Hornby counterparts. In addition to Hornby's Annie and Clarabelle, there's also a painted Hornby milk tanker and Gordon's express coach. The Kitty Railroad that Lassiter points out features a modified Bachman H.O. Thomas along with Annie, Clarabelle, a tar tanker, an open wagon, a six-ton wagon, and a salt wagon. During the visit to the McKinney household, a Thomas play road can be seen inside Caden's bedroom. A Jolly Roger coin-operated Thomas ride can be spotted in the background at the Fun Harbor. In the Grant Thomas the Tank Engine sketch, the Hornby Thomas is used for their depiction of Grant Thomas. The Hornby Aria Burt is used for Dermot the Diesel, Hutto the Helicopter is a Trackmaster Herald, and the Big Bone Controller is a Wooden Railway Fat Controller. You can also see Hornby's Annie and Clarabelle in this opening shot and painted Trackmaster versions in the closing shot. The Wooden Railway Thomas along with the Wooden Railway Stepney and Fossil Car can be found in episode 13 when Sheldon visits the library. Based on this selection of engines, these were likely pulled from the Thomasaurus Rex set. 
In episode 17, a Thomas-themed box can be seen in the background of Penny's apartment. At first glance, you might think this is the VHS for calling all engines. However, this is actually a box of Thomas-themed Bratches fruit snacks. In the horrible animal scene, John and Jenny appear to have the wooden railway roundhouse set. However, we don't see the entire thing. We can see the Thomas storage bin missing its face, the Sodor Bay bridges, the engine repair shop, the Single Stones tunnel, and the roundhouse, as well as part of the circus train and diesel D199. As for toys not from the set, there's the wooden Edward and Donald or Douglas, both missing their tenders, a tar tanker, James's tender, and Terrence the tractor. In this episode, the Gosselin family goes to a day with Thomas Van, where they see the Strasbourg Thomas locomotive. Also, at one point, one of the children is seen holding a take-along Thomas toy. In Volume 1, a Lionel O-Scale Thomas along with Annie and Clarabelle can be spotted on the FAO Schwartz and Macy's train layouts. And in Volume 2, an Ertl Fat controller can be seen on the layout of John Potter. A Peg Perigo ride on Thomas is seen in the garage of the Knudsen household, and a pop-up Thomas tent box is seen in the Moy household. This is gonna be a fun one. This movie is pretty much the reason why I wanted to do this video in the first place, all because of the scene we're about to talk about. As Fred enters the Toys R Us, on the shelf to the right, you can see the Wooden Railway Straight and Curved Track Expansion Pack as well as the Figure 8 Expansion Pack. There's also the Roundabout Action Turntable along with the Roundhouse. A couple of take-along toys are visible on this rack, but the only one that I could make out was the one for the Chinese Dragon. On this other shelf, you can see the Adventures of Thomas and the Adventures of Percy value packs, the former featuring the Winter Wonderland Thomas, the Paint Splattered Thomas, and the Comes to Breakfast Thomas, with the latter featuring the Jack Frost Percy, the Coal Dust Percy, and the Chocolate Covered Percy. Below that is the Take Along Work and Play Roundhouse, the Take Along Travel Tote, and at the very bottom is the Wooden Railway Bridge and Crane Figure 8 set. This inner aisle, you can spot the Take Along Herald Teleport Remote Control Play Set, the Timber Yard and Engine Works Portable Play Sets, the Big Loader Mail Delivery Set, the Tommy Harvey, Salty, and Toby, the Thomas Back to School and Soda Circus Lunch Boxes, and the Thomas Load and Carry Lego Duplo Set. And then on this back wall, you can see the Tommy Thomas at the Station Set, the Tommy Water Tower Steam Set, the Wooden Railway Cranky the Crane Set, a Thomas Pop Up Tent, a Thomas Inflatable Ball Pit both in box and on display, and the Wooden Railway All Aboard Play Table. There's also this Thomas Plush Chair in this back aisle. Later in the movie, at various points in the North Pole, you can also see this Peg Perigode right on Thomas. During this sequence, a My First Thomas Bill or Ben is seen inside this Claim Jumper arcade machine during the episode titled 7 Seconds. Apparently, these types of machines frequently use the My First Thomas brand inside them. During the ambush in the train shop, Lionel's O-Scale Thomas set is visible on this wall. Above it are two smaller boxes with similar packaging. The top set is a Thompson Friends expansion pack, which features two O-scale troublesome trucks, a milk tanker, and a hopper. While the bottom set is the Sodor Freight expansion pack, which had a flat car with Harold, Scruffy, a gondola, and a Thomas branded caboose. Lionel's O-scale Percy is also visible in this display case. Lionel isn't the only brand to appear. Some of Bachman's HO models are visible on this rack, including Thomas, Percy, Henry, and either Annie or Clarabelle. In episode 19, a push and go Percy and James can be seen on this bookshelf along with a disassembled Big Loader Percy in this obscured Thomas toy. And in episode 40, a My First Thomas toy is seen on this high chair. Various wooden railway toys can be found inside the Haynes household. During Sean's playdate, the Island of Sodor wooden play table appears with the Tidmouth Sheds Deluxe playset on top. In addition to that, you can see Duck, Rusty, Duke, Fred Pele, the Chinese Dragon, Boko, and Emily. And earlier in the episode, the Wooden Railway Percy, Chocolate Covered Percy, and the Aquarium Cars appear. You can also spot other toys like Tommy's Musical Thomas, the Load and Go Thomas, this blanket, and these Thompson Percy toys I couldn't identify. This film has a fair amount of Thomas cameos as Thomas is a pretty significant plot point throughout the story. Among Cow's collection, you can find the Erdl Percy, Edward, Henry, Scarloe, and James, the Wooden Railway Thomas and Henry, a Thomas coin bank, a talking My First Thomas toy, and this large Thomas in his bedroom. He also has a Thomas poster, a Thomas duvet and pillow set, one of his schoolmates has an Ertl pullback Thomas, and a musical melody Thomas is placed on his grandmother's coffin. Various Thomas VHSs also appear, however most of them can't be identified due to the resolution of the film. 
The only tape I could make out was the UK's Trust Thomas. This is the tape that Kyle is watching in the beginning, and you can hear the episode's Trust Thomas and the Trouble with Mud playing. Later at Chris's house, Kyle can be heard watching the episode's Trust Thomas, The Runaway, Better Late Than Never, and The Trouble with Mud. But the thing is, as far as I'm aware, no VHS release of Thomas has these episodes in this specific order, which makes me believe this is either a custom tape or the audio was added in post. In the US show, Grant is seen with a Thomas in the School Trip, My First Leap Pad book in the Harmony household. An Island of Soda wooden play table is seen in the Woodchick household along with what appears to be the roundhouse set on top. And in the UK show, a Tony Thomas briefly appears in the Pollard Morris household. At various points in the documentary, Gumby is seen riding around in a Tommy James with a modified face and cap. This appears to be from the standard James pack as he is seen pulling a cattle car and caboose. A modified wooden railway battery operated James can be seen on top of Moe's table disguise, along with the wooden railway Annie and Clarabelle. When talking about 00 scale trains, a Hornby Percy can be briefly seen on this layout, pulling what looks like a Sodor tar and fuel tanker. In the UK show, a Brendam Docks electric playset, a push and go Thomas, and a ride on Thomas can be seen in the Ball household. We also see an RG Mitchell coin operated Thomas and Thomas plates during the visit to the Bixley household. And in the US show, a wooden railway Thomas, Percy, and Duncan can be seen in the Bailey household. A Stephanie fridge magnet can be spotted on the fridge of one of the suspects in the episode titled Game. In the premiere episode of the series, Charlie can be seen wearing Thomas pajamas in the Wood household. Shuntaro can be seen playing with various Brio and Wooden Railway toys. You can make out Donald, Douglas, Bertie, Henry, Gordon, both in and out of box, and, though hard to see, Thomas. There's also this Chibi Thomas toy I can't quite make out. My first thought was it's a Capsule Thomas toy, as the range is exclusive to Japan, but while the proportions seem to match up, the overall size doesn't. The last thing to note is Shuntaro is watching Best Dress Engine from Season 7 on the TV. Although, if you listen closely, the audio is not in sync with the video. In the video shop scene, you can see the 1998 VHS of A Big Day for Thomas on this shelf when Gertie is picking out a video. In the episode titled Trains, Brio versions of Stepney, Splatter, Dodge, and Gordon can be seen among Henry's collection of toys along with the wooden railway toad in Diesel 10. A Percy fridge magnet can also be spotted on the dishwasher. In this Harry Potter parody made for Red Nose Day, the Hogwarts Express is briefly swapped with the Hornby, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. Several Thomas models of various brands and scales appear in this video. From Lionel, we can find their O-Scale Thomas, Annie, Clarabelle, Diesel, James, Scruffy, Harold in his flatbed, some troublesome trucks, a Sodor mining hopper, and a milk tanker. There's also Lionel's large-scale models of Thomas and James, as well as Annie, Clarabelle, and the Fat Controller. The N-Scale Thomas Thomas also appears pulling Annie and Clarabelle, and going slightly smaller, we have the paper-faced Ertle Diesel, Edward, James, Duck, Toby, Percy, Annie, Clarabelle, and Thomas. The Tommy Windup Bulgy makes a brief appearance in this rectangle segment, but interestingly, the footage used is mirrored as the windup key is on the wrong side. In the episode Red Hat Green Hat, the Meet Thomas and His Friends children's book appears during the debate in the library. Throughout the second season, the UK VHS copy of Spooks and Surprises can be seen on Linda's and Tom's shelf. Throughout the first season, a child can be seen wearing a Thomas shirt during the preschool segments, and a Thomas backpack also appears. You can find another Thomas shirt in the Wiggly Big Show during the Can You song. This footage would later be reused in episodes 1, 5, 11, and 16 of the second season. In the opening of the episode, No Fat, you can spot the Erdo Henry on this table in the background, and in the foreground, there's a big loader Percy with the motor removed. In the episode Plenty of Time, the UK copy of Trust Thomas can be seen on Bernard's bedside table. A VHS copy of Shining Time Station, Bully for Mr. Conductor, can be seen at the video store in the episode titled The Comeback. 
This is the tape that featured the episode Bolgi from Season 3. In the episode of Regeneration, a Thomas toy can be spotted on Justin's dresser. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what toy this is. Reddit tells me it might be this Thomas coin bank, but I don't think it is. It looks much too big to be the coin bank, but I could be wrong. An Ertl Thomas display appears in the toy store, however I can't identify any of the models as it is being obscured. A rack of Ertl models can be spotted when the Chuckle Brothers visit the county fair. On this rack you can make out Oliver, Edward, Trevor, Donald, Douglas, Bill, Ben, Henry, Toad, and City of Truro. A third Thomas shirt makes an appearance in the Wiggles during the Dorothy's Dance Party song. This 1992 Thomas lamp can be seen in Danny's bedroom at the beginning of the film, although it appears that any identifying features like his number and face have been obscured, likely for legal reasons. On our way to a picnic, Auntie Mabel shows us the production of Thomas themed black currant juice boxes, which featured James and the fat controller on the front. In the All Gages toy train layout, an Ertl pullback Thomas is seen next to the log crane, and during the credits, the wooden railway Henry, Mavis, Annie, and a troublesome truck appear. It seems that this is a 1993 release of Henry, judging by the tender shape and lack of a coal load. In their segment on the Choo Choo Barn, an Ertl pullback Thomas is seen being pulled on a flatbed in the O scale portion of the layout. Additionally, a Hornby 00 Percy can be found in the zoo section. He appears to be pulling some troublesome trucks, however the proportions don't look like Hornby's. To me, they look like Ertl troublesome trucks that have been heavily modified, but I'm not 100% on that, so let me know what you think. In the episode on structures, an Ertl paper face Thomas is being used to test out this kid's bridge experiment. Jesse's twins Nikki and Alex can be seen playing with an Ertl Thomas and James in the episode Be True to Your Preschool. An Ertl wind up fat controller shows up when Sooty is looking in the attic for their puzzle piece. This Thomas parody makes use of Ertl's pullback Thomas and Percy, using four in total, having one Thomas painted yellow and a Percy painted red. These models are much larger than the normal Ertl models, sitting closer to O scale. Their size becomes apparent when placed next to the Ertl Fat Controller and Porter. Because of their size, they don't fit well to the tracks and can be seen derailing at various points in the sketches. Additionally, because no rolling stock was made at that scale, the fast forward team had to custom make coaches and tankers for Thomas. Interestingly, the character that is supposed to be Percy is incorrectly referred to by different names, including Bertie, Henry, and Gordon. Various Hornby models are used in comedian Bobby Davros' Thomas parody, titled Thomas the Tanked Up Dungeon. There's the Hornby Thomas, Percy, and Gordon, the Hornby James painted up in pink, and Hornby's Annie and Clarabelle with the addition of lipstick and eyeshadow. We also see the appearance of the Season 1 Troublesome Truck, as well as the bottom half of this brake van. Given that these specific models were used, it's likely that this set from 1985 is where they were sourced from. In this bumper introducing and closing out an episode of Thomas, host Gary Wilmot is seen holding a pullback Ertl Thomas. And the very last cameo on our list is the Meccano Percy set appearing in the British spy fiction The Avengers. This very well may be the first Thomas cameo ever recorded. It's certainly the earliest one that I found. And there we have it, every single Thomas cameo that I could find. It's really amazing how many places you can find these cameos in. It certainly makes sense that you'd find them in children's shows like The Wiggles or Daniel Tiger, but I never thought I'd find Thomas merch in an episode of The Sopranos. For as violent and raunchy as that show is, Thomas feels very out of place. I think my favorite cameo comes from the Japanese drama Rikon Bengoshi. It's easy to forget that Thomas is famous worldwide, so it's kind of awesome to see him appear in this obscure little show. As thorough as I tried to be, there's bound to be some cameos that got left out, that I got wrong, or that I just couldn't identify. So feel free to let me know in the comments below, and if there are enough cameos, I might just make a sequel, or more likely, I'll post more shorts. Anyway, this is where I'll end the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I thank you for watching. Alright guys, bye.